Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to find the angle between the normals to the surface phi at two different points P and Q. Previously we have learned how to find the angle between two different surfaces at a common point. Now here the question will be angle between the normals to one particular surface at two different points. Anyhow, the formula is going to remain the same except that the surface is going to be a single surface and since it is two different points, we have to find nebula phi at the point P and also the nebula phi at the point Q and apply this formula into that. So, let us see how to do a problem on it. Now, here we have a problem where we have to find the angle between the normals to the surface x y minus z square equal to z equal to 0 at the points 1 4 minus 2 and minus 3 minus 3 3. So these are the two different points where this first point is point P and this is point Q. Now using the formula that we saw just now we have to find the angle between the normals to the given surface. First we have to take and write the given surface phi. So, phi is equal to xy minus z square. Now, using this, we have to find nebula phi. Nebula phi is given by the formula dou phi by dou x i vector plus dou phi by dou y j vector plus dou phi by dou z k vector. Now, we have phi over here. So, using this, nebula phi will be equal to what is dou phi by dou x partial differentiation of phi with respect to x z square will be treated as constant so it will become 0. The differentiation of x is 1. So 1 multiplied with y will be y. So y i vector. So this I have substituted as y and i vector plus dou phi by dou y partial differentiation of phi with respect to y now. So in a similar way we will get x j vector because dou phi by dou y is x plus dou phi by dou z k vector. So, it differentiate this partially with respect to z. x y will be treated as constant. So, it will become 0 and this will be minus 2 z k vector. So, therefore, nebula phi we have obtained. Now, we have, we have two different points p and q. So, first we have to find nebula phi at the point p. That will be equal to the point P is this. So, x will be 1, y will be 4 and z will be minus 2. So, we shall substitute that. So, y is 4. So, 4 i vector. x is 1. So, plus j vector. And z is minus 2. Now, already we have a minus 2 here. So, minus into minus will become plus. And 2, 2 times is 4. And so, we will get 4 k vector. In a similar way, we have to find for the other point also. So, we have to find nebula phi at the point Q. That will be equal to, so at the place of Y, we have minus 3. So, this will be X, Y and Z. So, at the place of Y, we have minus 3. So, it will be minus 3 I vector. At the place of X, we have minus 3. So, minus 3 J vector. And the value of Z is 3. So, when we substitute 3 over here, 3 2 times is 6. So, minus 6 K vector. So, we have obtained nebula phi at the point P and nebula phi at the point Q. In order to find the angle between uh, like between the normals at these two different points, we know that the formula is given by cos theta and nebula phi at the point P dot product with nebula phi at the point Q divided by modulus of nebula phi at the point P multiplied with modulus of nebula q, I mean nebula phi at the point q. So, this we have to use. So, therefore, cos theta will be equal to, from this, cos theta will be equal to, what is nebula phi at the point p? It is 4i vector plus j vector plus 4k vector. This has to be taken dot product with nebula phi at the point q, that is this one. So, minus 3 i vector, minus 3 j vector, minus 6 k vector, divided by modulus of nebula phi at the point P. So, the modulus of this, that is square root of 4 square plus 1 square plus 4 square. 
multiplied with square root of modulus of nebula phi with uh, at the point Q. So modulus of this will be minus 3 square plus minus 3 square plus minus 6 square. Now we have to take the dot product in the numerator. So that will be component wise we have to multiply. 4 multiplied with minus 3 will be minus 12. And then 1 multiplied with minus 3 is minus 3. And 4 multiplied with minus 6 is minus 24. Divided by square root of 4, 4 times is 16 plus 1 plus 16. And here we have square root of uh, 3 square is 9. Negative sign becomes positive. And again 3 square is 9 and 6 square is 36. So this will be 36. Now that is equal to what is minus 12 minus 3 minus 24 is minus 39 divided by here square root of 16 plus 16 is 32 plus 1 is 33 and here it will be square root of uh, 36 plus uh, 18 will be 54 so square root of 54 let us simplify this further so this will be equal to minus 39 square root of 33 can be written as 3 multiplied with 11 and square root of 54 can be written as 3 uh, three times multiplied with 2 gives us 54. Because I am just uh, reducing it into prime factors so that I can easily remove the square root for terms which are uh, where it is possible to remove. So this can be written as minus 39 divided by if you see we have uh, three uh, square root of 3 and square root of 3 over here. And these uh, 2, 3 also. So we can write it as 3 into 3 outside the square root. And within the square root it will be 11 into 2. The remaining. That is this 11 and 2 we have to write. So that will be equal to minus 39 divided by. And uh, in fact we can cancel this. So 3 1 times 3 13 times this gets cancelled. And so we will be having uh, in the numerator we, we will be having minus 13 divided by one of the three is there outside and square root of inside the square root we have 22. So this is actually cos theta. So from this we can get theta to be equal to cos inverse of minus 13 divided by 3 square root of 22. Therefore this is the angle between the normals to the given surface at two given points P and Q. So hope you have understood this problem. In our next video we will learn how to, uh, how to prove that two surfaces intersect orthogonally. By using the concept of angle between two surfaces we will be proving that two surfaces are orthogonal to one another. That is they are perpendicular to one another. So kindly follow the next video lecture. Thank you.